Hey all, it's Jess. Welcome back to Sunflower Dairy. Also, welcome to the greenhouse. It's looking pretty jungly in here. As you can see, the eggplants are huge. The tomatoes are huge. The trellis, you can't even see it anymore because it's covered in cucumelons. All right, so today I'm going to be... Oop, the tomato plants touching me. Anyway, today we are going to be harvesting cucumelons. So cucumelons, let me see if I can show you one. All right, this is a cucumelon. As you can see, it kind of looks like a melon. And people also call these sour gherkins or mouse melons. They kind of look like a miniature watermelon that is about the size of a mouse. So, also these kind of crunch in your mouth. So, I'm going to be harvesting these cucumelons and I'm going to be mostly eating them fresh, but you can do pickles in a mason jar you can well it's recommended to do refrigerator pickles because they stand up better to just being in the refrigerator and they get kind of I've I've never tried this but I've heard that they get kind of mushy if you put them in a water bath and can them so it's said to be better to do refrigerator pickles with them. So what I normally do when I'm doing refrigerator pickles is I'll get my mason jar, I'll fill it about halfway with vinegar, I'll put my pickles or whatever in there, and then I'll do sea salt or dill or whatever kind of seasoning you want in there. And then after I have my pickles and seasonings in there, then I'll fill the jar up the rest of the way with cold water. I'll put a lid on it, and then I will stick it in the refrigerator until everything is pickled. It usually takes about a couple weeks, so that's usually how I do refrigerator pickles. But let's get started. So I'm just going to be putting them in a jar here. And... These really like, the cucumelons really like to hide. So, usually, I'm just kind of looking all over to find them. But once you find them, you find like five more. So, there we go. See, I just found one and then I just found like five more. So, anyway. With these plants, I started them from seed and I planted them as started plants in here. And I've noticed I also planted some seeds in the garden. And I noticed that when you start from seed, they really take a long time to get going. So I'm noticing that the started plants are doing a lot better. But also, if you can see in the greenhouse, everything is huge. So I'm really thinking that that also might be making a difference between in the greenhouse and outside. So what I'm going to do next year is I'm going to put seeds and also started plants out in the garden to see how those do. And then in the greenhouse, I will do seeds and then also started plants and see what does better wear. So, but I've noticed that these, once they start vining, they will start vining for a while and then they will start producing very slowly. And then it's like, boom, like you have tons and tons of cucumelons just everywhere. So that's what I've noticed with these plants. But I am really, really enjoying growing these. They just, they're so different than any of the other 
plants that I've grown as far as varieties and it's just something that you know you don't really find in most gardens so it's really cool it's really neat and different and I I have just really enjoyed this plant I really love how it vines and grows and it really seems to just really grow really well once it starts going you know it does take patience like a lot of things in the garden because like I said they do take a little while to start producing but once they start producing they start producing like crazy so that is some of the main things that I have found and also this is this is an heirloom variety the cucamelon so I will be able to save seeds from this and then plant those seeds next year so but I am really enjoying growing this like I said think there's any more and then you find like five ten more they, they really camouflage Look at those beautiful cucumber melons. All right, there we go. Look at those. So, like I said, these are really good. They taste kind of cucumbery with like a hint of like melony flavor. And then a hint of citrus so they're just really really good you know they're different than a typical like cucumber and this is about as big as they get so they're really little really cute a really fun little thing especially like if you had kids and you just want something where they could just go out and kind of pick something like really small as a snacking thing this would be a really fun thing to grow so I have just really been enjoying this all right that's all for today thanks for watching have a blessed day